Howdy everyone. Today, we have some, uh, some important building to do, okay? We got some cute little cats that we know need some houses and some places to play. We got Calcifer, we got Chino. We need to make them something beautiful and better. We're gonna be building a beautiful little cat box for Chino, more gorgeous than the one I built for Calcifer. And then we're also gonna be making a replacement rope bridge for Calcifer because he was too scared to use his. So we've already taken a trip to uh, Home Depot and unfortunately I did forget to record, but I mean, who really wants to go to Home Depot with me? I know it was fun last time, but let's, you know, skip all those antics this time and just get right into the core building. You know, the, the nice aesthetic building. I prefer cars, but let's be honest, the cats deserve it, so I'll put in the work. The plan for the cat house is going to be pretty easy. We've got this board mark currently at 16 inches long and 12 inches wide. So basically we're going to cut out four of these pieces and build them into a uh, the starting point of a box, bottom, two sides, and a top. And then we have a, a piece of MDO over there, or MDF, I'm not a wood professional, it's something, that we're going to cut two pieces for like the front, it's going to go on a corner, and then we're going to cut a hole out of it so that cats can go in and out. We're going to make this thing really aesthetic and really beautiful, but let's build it. Uh, I said let's, I said let's build it. So the first step here is uh, getting our nice little table saw set up. So we're just going to take this guard off. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, please remember, don't learn after me, okay? I'm the perfect example of what not to do, okay? I've had to change these plans three times, and now I've realized that I need more tools than I have at this location. So just remember, if you're doing a job, make sure you have everything planned out first, okay? Don't fly by the string in your pants, or whatever the saying is. and we're just gonna come in and put one, two MDF here and we're gonna cut out a hole so that the cat can go in it. So we have these countersink bits so that we can pre-drill and countersink all of our uh, dots that we've pointed out for where we're putting our screws on the bottom plate. Let's drill her and fill her. And just like that, we have the first wall installed. Hold on. I need a visual. I don't know what it is. They always need a visual reference. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to move it? Because I can't get the holes from here. What are you talking about? You can't drill into it from there. I, I can't drill into it from there? Yes, but I think no. if I happen to go from here... No. Oh my god, I'm holding it perfect. Uh, you're not. You're a bully. Okay, screw your square. You're pushing too it's hard at the top. Perfect. No, it's not. It's still not perfect. Use a square on the inside when you're building walls to make sure they're straight.
I made a mistake, obviously. Like, we, we always make mistakes here. I have put all these little screw holes on the very edge of this wood, and I forgot that we wanted the MDMF for the door that they get into to be in center, be about there and not, not way up at the front where we had it. So, that's the oopsies, but it's okay, I think we can fix it. We're just gonna pop some glue in those holes, fill them. It's basically the same color, no one's gonna know it ever existed. All right, we're gonna let that dry for a little bit, and while it's drying, we're gonna take this giant piece made of pine, and I know, pine's not what you wanna use for luxurious furniture applications, you know, expensive stuff. I know pine's cheap, that's why we bought it. We're only using this for the mountain. We're gonna rip it at about five inches so that it is big enough to take up about a third, a little less than a third of the base of it, and be able to support it if we put it in the middle. And then, we're gonna come down. Six inch pieces are probably big enough, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it at a 45 degree angle, right? So that when you flip it around, they sit into each other perfectly and have a nice strong hold. Let's treat this piece of wood to a nice saw blade. roughly middle for this. Mark out two very light lines of three quarters of an inch. So half of three quarters, three eighths. Make sure that those dots line up with three eighths roughly. It holds off a simple 45 degree cut. Yet. It's MDF time. So what we're gonna do is cut out little pieces to fill in the last two little spots on our cat house. And then we're gonna router them to make them nice and round and look and look good. So I have yet to use a router properly. Hopefully I don't have to make more than one because I will stop. I'll just stop doing this stuff. <laughs> don't kick my $150 tools around. <laughs> You can always take off material, you can never put material back. So, uh, it doesn't work off camera. This is the shape. All right, man. <coughs> I can barely breathe. And uh, this is the shape the shop's in. It's disgusting, so I think some cleanup is gonna happen. Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you're all enjoying this video so far. But while we take a quick break here to do our shop cleanup, which honestly, the most satisfying part of the project, I'm just gonna take a quick minute to touch on a comment from my last video about meeting Chino. Someone asked for an Amazon wish list for Chino and I will be starting one and linking it in the description. We're gonna have some cat toys, a better two, and some other Amazon cat essentials. Please though, honestly, do not feel any obligation at all to send me or Chino anything. I don't expect it, however, we are both very appreciative if you do, especially Chino. 
I have zero expectations and I'd rather that you spend money on your own cat or a family's or a neighbor's cat instead. I wouldn't be starting one had someone not asked, however, I do feel as though if someone wants to spoil Chino, they absolutely have the right to do so. And uh, we'll also be doing Chino unboxings for everything that is sent. Enjoy the rest of the video. Here's where we're at so far. We got the windows cut out. I think it looks really cute. We still gotta paint them and uh, finish them up. So, this is what Megan did. And then uh, this side, she hasn't touched yet. And it looks quirky. No, we're gonna fix it up. It was my first time using a router that wasn't on a table, so. So we've left the girlfriend to uh, dremel herself to happiness on the uh, cat box. And we're gonna get started on our second project, redoing and remaking a nice rope bridge for my sister's cat, Calcifer. Because last, <laughs> It was kind of shit and he refuses to use it, so uh, we're just gonna make a new one because he doesn't feel safe and comfortable in this. Traveling so loud, I'm so sorry. The first thing we're gonna- You just told me it was quiet. You know what's louder than traveling getting yelled at? We're just gonna start this project off with a new version of our um, securing method, the cleat system. Basically, the plan for the rope bridge is really simple. I don't know if you can see these drawings or not. They're not very good. Uh, they're not architectural drawings by any means, okay? I'm not an artist, I'm not an architect. The plan is, we're gonna make an eight by eight platform that he can stand on that's gonna go in between the rope bridge so that it gets more stable and that he feels more comfortable. Who wants to know a new fun fact I learned today? If you're ripping a piece at an angle, uh, make sure it's a big piece, because if not, part of it's gonna fall into your saw and do this. This is going to make our platform and all the steps. to go into the uh, rope bridge platforms, we're gonna cut out some dados so that we can put this underneath and hide it seamlessly. However, I don't really have a dado blade, I have a single blade. So I've got it set up to cut dados, but I don't know how thick I'm gonna make them. So this is really gonna be experimental. And then when we find the sweet spot, I'll give you guys some tips and tricks so that if you wanna cut dados with a single blade at home, you can do it just as easily. Oh. So you want to know how to cut perfect dados at home? We're going to teach you. You're going to need to make yourself a jig. Get yourself a piece of scrap wood after a lot of tweaking and a lot of my brain not working. All you do is you put the fence at where you want your deepest cut for your dado. And then you cut out a nice little L-shaped jig at whatever distance the piece is, so six inches and then you can plus whatever you want the other side of your dado at. So this piece is six inches, and I want a dado that's the size of three eighths. So I went, I went boom, and I went six and three eighths. So now that this is square, I can just run this through, and it'll be perfect every time. this perfect, or near perfect, 99% perfect little shelf perch thing for our rope bridge. Let's go show Emma what we've done. Now that we have this all assembled, we've arrived in Emma's room for the install. Are you excited for the brand new rope bridge? I am. How's the last rope bridge uh, turned out? The last one was just a little bit unstable and sound. 
unstable, unsound. Well, that's what happens when you build it with twine from the dollar store and three floor samples from Home Depot. I mean, we could have put a bit more work into it, but clearly it wasn't in the box. Exactly. Did you throw it out? Oh, well, let's get this up and hopefully you'll like this along. Let's get this up. Let's get it up, guys. All right. We're going to take these and we're going to drill holes in them and then we're going to put the dowels in them so that we can string them all together as well as putting string on the bottom. And this guy absolutely hates me and wants out of my arms so bad. You're okay? Oh, he farted. Oh. Oh, boy. I've got Emma and Megan both on the sanding squad. I want the sander then. Oh, no, not the sander. You guys got them good now, right? I think they're making them Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka! That's about right. To be honest, it's going in her room under the bed. Yeah, I know. 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 Yeah, So it turns out my drill isn't even strong enough for this. You're dumb. <laughs> Alright, so that uh, block of wood that I just broke, I have taken into the ER and uh, I have patched them all up myself. He should be all good to go on the wall now. He's got a little heart on his band aids. He's all patched up. You know, he just. He broke under pressure and I guess I pushed him too hard, so we're gonna we're gonna pray for his recovery and we're gonna we're gonna put this side of the wall so we can still put dowels on it. But um it's, at, it's adding character and personality, right? So because uh, like everyone else in today's consumer capitalist society, Emma wants things done quickly <laughs> and improperly. That's how we've arrived at most of the issues. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I take my <laughs> I take my time. And I make things perfect, but when we're at Emma's, we're go, go, go. Hot gluing these dowels on here instead of screwing them in. That's not my choice. That's not how I'm going to do it when I make this product for myself and for others. But it's Emma's choice, so we'll just, we'll let her, we'll let her do whatever she wants. Also, I don't know if you guys have- Emma's choice for you to cut that block in half? Shut up. I don't, also don't know if you guys have noticed or not, but as soon as I'm with Emma, everything gets like way more chaotic and just goes down the tubes. All right, so I've pretty much been screwed by my entire crew. <laughs> Basically, what's happened here is everyone said, no, Ben, no, it's okay. Only put the dowels on the front. Don't worry about the backside, right? So that when this thing goes up here, it'll look ugly. I don't get what the problem is. You don't see what the problem is? Okay, so if we only have one string, right? And we have two attachment points on our little steps. We put this here, right? It's fine. Okay. I gave you the it's cylinder. support. Support. And suddenly, oh, oh no! Oh no! It falls off if no, you only have what? one one rope. I thought you were drilling those into the wall. What? <laughs> How much do they sting up? A rope. <laughs> a rope bridge, not a screw it into the wall bridge. Well, how the hell is it going to stay connected to the wall? The center platform so, doesn't have back support I mean, for two ropes. Put some back dowels on that piece and that piece and that piece and then boom, doweled. Why did you turn British? <laughs> right here. Is the glue gun still Yes, yeah, glue gun's still plugged. No, it's not. Emma! Wait, the wall's gonna be right here? Yes! Yes! <laughs> what do you mean? From <laughs> bed. I wanted to go to bed 20 years ago. So it's way later than I ever wanted it to be, and I had a small asthma attack. Didn't know I had asthma, but. <sighs> like, listen to my breathing. Anyway, um, we got it up. I'll be honest, it's not as great or as pretty as I wanted or thought it was gonna be. Adorable. But here it is, and it's full of glory. Um, we're still gonna take this rope and put a little fence around because Calsfer likes to lay up there and almost fall off. Um, and unfortunately our cleat system didn't work. We had to put two more screws on the top one. It worked like for the most part, but if you were too far out here, it would fall off. So we got to work on it or make shorter stuff. I don't know. I'll, you know, engineer it later. But Emma, what are your opinions on the, uh, bridge? I think it looks good. I'm excited to see if you can use it. You think he's actually, yeah, you think he's actually going to use this one? 
I think he's gonna get this one a solid try. The only thing I'm worried about is that on the perch, he has to like jump over those ropes. Yeah, he might get a little confused. <laughs> Alright, so we are now in my bedroom um, where we're going to be installing uh, that little box house for this little Chino guy right here. Can we just get more love for Chino? You guys really seem to like him in the last video, and I mean, I don't blame him. He's the freaking best cat ever. I mean, just look at him. He literally doesn't care about anything. There you go, buddy. Alright, so the plan today is that we're going to take down these three shelves right here in order to make room for the box house that we have built. We're gonna be putting it way up there in that corner and then later on in the next video, so in a week or so probably, we're gonna be getting rid of all of these Hot Wheels. These shelves are already gonna be gone, but we're gonna be putting up a catwalk and we're going to be cleaning out my cubby right here to make Chino his very own Chino Dominium. Um, and then we have some big plans for the future of this room. It's gonna be largely dedicated to my cat. Anyway, yeah, so we're gonna be turning this room into basically Chino's room. Um, we've got some big plans coming. It's just gonna see how long it takes to make this stuff. Cause I'll be honest, even that rope bridge that I built for Emma took like two days. So it, do it does take time. And, uh, and I got quite a few projects I wanna put in here. Careful with all my heart. Oh my goodness. So we have our four um, drywall anchors already set up. Oh. oh golly gee. All right, let's see the stability of this thing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, nice and good. No way a cat's pulling that out the wall. That's what we like to see. Alright, so we got Chino. Oh, there he goes. Hi! Did I give him a cat bed? He's pretty big. Don't let him jump. I won't let him jump. I don't think he likes it. I feel like he might not like the height. Oh, oh, I got you, I got you. Yeah, okay. So uh, I guess he doesn't like it when it's kind of the only place he can be. I'll have to build him some catwalks and some ramps, but that'll be in the next video when we give him his own little... Cat Dominium. His own little cat Dominium. His own little house. We're, oh my goodness, the budget for these videos is just skyrocketing. We're actually gonna do something crazy with this room though. Oh my goodness, that cat. This cat is gonna be the death of me. I'm about to spend, spend like probably a grand on this room for him. He better be appreciative. Yeah. Come on. Is it safe for me to come? Yeah, the death can support both of us. You know, I'm here too much to eat. It's all good. Oh, Charles, okay. Oh, please. He's not having that. Catwalk and ramp coming. Next video of Cat Dominion for Chino.